Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Tweety. Today, we're going to be going over Sonic vs. Dragon from the beta Kenshi vs. Katana. This has been a highly requested set that I go over. Now, it looks like Dragon's using Katana plus Sonya, and it looks like Sonic is using Kenshi plus Frost, which we've already seen uh, from Sonic in the set versus um, in the set versus combat. So let's check this out. Let's see. So I don't know much about Katana. I only fought one in the beta. So it's going to be interesting to see. So it looks like Dragon's enforcing that mid string right away. I know that that's her mid, right? Ooh, punishes the frost slide. Sonic's just been throwing that out a lot on block when we've been watching uh, watching that Kenji gameplay. Ooh, it looked like a little bit of lag right there. A little lag spike. Ooh, that looked like it would have been a nasty conversion there from Dragon into the Sonya, the square wave. Ooh, and Sonic once again just does Frost Slide on block. That's going to be death for sure. The thing about Katana is, like, people are, are talking about she's low tier because of her buttons. Uh, which, you, you know, you could argue that. But, like, her damage is great. Her damage is really good. Like, even, like, meterless, it seems like. Okay, nice strike throw game by Sonic. Okay. Ooh, nice. Nice spacing from Dragon. 32%. Okay. Now, one big difference about Katana in this game is she has her regular projectile, but her e and Dragon used it right when I wanted to talk about it. So the EX projectile, instead of it being like two fans that you can use to like win the zoning war, She's got, like, this delayed projectile that you could use for, like, setups. Or even to, like, throw people off in block strings. Like, you saw Dragon do here. Like, Sonic tried to respond immediately, but got hit by the delayed fans. And it would have been a combo, but Dragon just dropped it. And right there, Sonic gets a big opening with 422 into the ice slide. Into the Sinto combo. Into the setup. Ooh, nice armor out there from Dragon. Ooh, and Dragon actually... So Katana's armor, it's like the rising DP move. And you see their dragon actually uses Sonya to continue into a combo. But it looked like um I think Dragon was thrown off here because it like that little like end of match, like there's a bug in the beta where like you do stuff with like cameos and stuff, and like it'll have like a little like freeze frame like bug, like the match ended. And you saw it happen right here. See right here? And I think that threw Dragon off. I think that's why he dropped the combo. That threw me off a lot, too, in the beta. Nice jump in from Sonic. Almost threads the needle with the punish. Doesn't quite get it. Nice throw, though. Ooh, gets Sento out. That projectile there does a lot of damage. Ooh, nice spacing by Sonic with the sword normals. Nice opening from Sonic, the jab string to the frost slide. Ooh, good spacing. Fully charged that special. I believe it's plus if fully charged. Obviously, you can armor, but Dragon doesn't have meter right now. So Sonic, Sonic realizes Dragon has no meter and is using that special to bully. Look at all that chip that Dragon's taking this round. Whether it be on block or like from little hits. Oh, nice convert from Dragon. 33%. And that was no bar, too, right? So, yeah, it seems like Katana can get a lot going without any meter. Oh, nice whip punish with the jab from Sonic. Really good spacing. That's going to kill. Yeah, that's going to kill. So that round, like, Sonic got the corner against Dragon. And was really good at bullying Dragon when Dragon had no bar with that special that you could charge or not charge. And then once Sonic got the life lead from that, you just saw like the spacing game was on point and made Dragon overextend. That was just a really good round. Really well played. Really good awareness. Really good awareness of Dragon's meter. Really good awareness of uh, the life lead. You know what I'm saying? So... Oh, nice. Dragon expected him to hold it all the way. Didn't, but he didn't though.
Ooh, nice block on the slide into the combo. Yeah, so that meterless fan that launches is doesn't require a bar, huh? So Katana's combo potential is actually pretty insane. Nice pressure from Dragon with the EX fan. Throw from Sonic, though. Ooh, Dragon interrupts that little dash there. That was good. I think the reason Sonic's using that dash is because it's like projectile immune, right? It's like a Tatsu or whatever from Street Fighter. But both times Sonic made that read, Dragon was not using a projectile. Nice throw, nice throw. Here's the thing about Katana, though. It's like having like slower buttons, like eight and nine frame buttons is really terrible on like MK11. But on this game, you could use cameos to make up for that, like ambush cameos and stuff. So I don't know. She could be good. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know enough, though. Like I've only like watched some Katanas and played against one. So I'm not very knowledgeable. Ooh, that should be the kill from Dragon there. Ooh, and okay, so Sonic chose not to break, and then Dragon just did those projectiles, and so those are probably unbreakable, right? Yeah, those projectiles are probably unbreakable, I'm assuming. So Sonic probably thought to break after the launch, but then Dragon just did some unbreakable shit, so that's interesting. That's the first example I've seen of someone doing an unbreakable combo in this game. I assume it's unbreakable though, right? Like specials? Because that's how MKX was. Like, if they did a if they did a special, you couldn't break. So people would do shittier combos. They were just like only specials to be unbreakable. You know what I'm saying? And it looks like that's what Dragon did right there. Big opening into the frost slide, into the Sinto combo from Sonic, into the setup, into the launch. That was so dirty. The drop though, and good recognition by Dragon noticing the drop and doing wake up buttons. Nice throw tech from Sonic. Good stuff. Ooh, that sweep's got so much range on it. It's got good recovery, too. We actually saw one time where Sonic jumped, uh, jumped the sweep clean, and it still wasn't a punish. Because it's got such a good recovery. Really nice pressure game here from Dragon. Got the breaker out of there. Ooh, the wake up buttons again from Dragon gets it. Wow, okay. Yo, Basher, thank you so much for the sub, bro. I appreciate you. Ooh, nice counter poking from Sonic. Gets the opening into the frost slide. Jumps over to to get the corner. Now, what's the setup? Is he going to set up Sinto? No, nah, just bullying him with 4 2 I like it. I like it. Ooh, nice counter poking from Dragon there. Uh, Dragon's making Katana's buttons look good, y'all. I know they're not good, though, right? That's the thing, but in in the hands of the right player out playing, you know, they can make it happen. Ooh, nice sweep into the throw. Ooh, nice spacing with the sweep in the back dash sweep. Sonic gets the opening, though, but it's broken by Dragon. But that's all three bars out of there, though. All three bars out there on Sonic's side as well. Now you see Dragon, he's the only person I've used I've seen uh he's the only person I've seen deliberately use Sonya's ring. And it's supposedly plus on block, so it's not the worst move. I think Sonya's cameo is kinda underrated, y'all. Like a lot of people, uh, because of all the dirt Kano has, like kinda disregard it, but Square Wave is an amazing ambush. She gets a launcher also if you need that, which you could use that, like, depending on what character you are, stuff like that. And then she's got a plus projectile, so Sonya cameo is not as bad as, you know, people say. I think, because it's a little more basic, I feel like people are disregarding it a little quick. Nice projectile game here from Sonic with the overhead slash. Ooh, Sonic gets the opening with 4 2 Yeah, I was, I was kind of curious about, like, the, uh, 
like the combo choice there from Sonic. That was weird because Sonic had full uh, frost but didn't do the slide. That was kind of weird. But it looked like it was like kind of like a setup thing going on. Nice spacing by Sonic. Oh my god, made Dragon Whip bad. Oh my god, that was good. Into the setup. Ooh, that's smart. That's smart. Because here's the thing. Like a good player like Ninja or Dragon or someone like that, they're going to see Frost Bomb and they're going to know. Like, say Frost Bomb right here. Frost Bomb's not going to get like this far to where Katana is right now. Like it runs out. So Sonic realized that. So Sonic just starts doing far overheads. Because obviously a really good player like Dragon or Ninja, they're going to back off to where Frost Bomb can't hurt them, you know? But if you're Kenshi, you have a tool that can reach, you know, the overhead slash. Nice throw by Dragon. Trying to come back here. Any little touch from Sonic is going to do it, though. Oh, and the timeout. I, I do a really bad job, and I think it's because, like, this game asks more out of us as far as management goes. Like, uh, we got to manage our meter. We got to manage our cameos. So, like, looking at the clock, like, I'm bad at it right now, y'all. Sonic got the opening there, forced the breaker out of Dragon. Nice, Dragon got the opening and then forced it out of Sonic there. And you see these players, they're really good at managing their uh, meter and using cameos to get combos and stuff like that. So, like, when you do hit them, they break your first hit, you know? Oh, nice spacing from Sonic there. I believe that was back two into the Frost Slide. Made Dragon Whiff, too, into the Sinto combo. Ooh, so is that an overhead when he stabs you like that? That looks so cheap. Oh, my God. That was such a clean round from Sonic. Holy moly. Holy moly like macaroni. All right, let's go. These have been some good games so far, y'all. Y'all in the comments, tell me to check this out. Appreciate that. Because y'all were right. This is a good set. It's two characters I don't know very well, so I'm not able to be, like, too insightful with, like, the specifics of what they're doing. But it's definitely a great set so far. Sonic going into the, the Sinto setup. Is that a... I think that's an overhead, right? That little, like, uh... Like that, where he, like, turns and spins and stabs you with the sword. It looks like it's a mid, but I think it's an overhead. And then does not the Sinto for the combo. Yeah, that's cheap right there. Both be impatient. Down fours, back and forth. Projectile, back sweeps from Dragon. Ooh. Dragon got in with Jump Kick. Didn't get much off of it, though, but 16%. That'll add up. You get another hit. Ooh, that's a big opening right there. That's a big opening. Nice pressure game from Sonic with the delayed special into the throw. Ooh, gets the opening with back tune to the overhead ender. That doesn't combo, though, so. Ooh, that will combo. That will combo. Really good meaty from Sonic. Into the chip. Into the chip. Yeah, that's... Oh, no. Dragon has breaker. Now, if you're Dragon, you got to kind of have some urgency here because you don't want Sonic to get... Yeah, you don't want Sonic to get Frost back fully because that's going to be chip. Ooh, punishes the push, though. Yeah, that's going to be chip, yeah. That was a nice round from Sonic there. Now, what was really smart there at the end, and you might ask yourself, like, oh, why did Dragon not jump? I think the reason Dragon didn't jump there is because Frost has, like, the like the spike that hits really high that can anti-air, and also, like, the punch walk. So I think Dragon was expecting that, so it was just ducking from range. And then the frost like came in. Sonic was like on the next layer. On the next layer, like tried it. Nice jump over into the hit confirm. Into the frost slide, into Sinto. This is a great start to the game. Ooh, baits the armor too. That's so cheap. You can have Sinto attacking while you're blocking and bait armor. That's just so good. Like, what is one supposed to do? I guess you could poke out. Dragon's doing it right now. Okay. Oh, this is going to be chip, though. Yeah, this is going to be chip. 
That's tough. Ooh, nice duck on the throw into the elbow on the chin. Okay, the elbow around the chin into the KO. Like UFC. Nice spacing into the into the frost slide, into the Cinto. Big damage. Corner control too. Nice blocks from Dragon, but Cinto is just like relentless. Into the overhead. Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, the drop though from Sonic Dragon gonna take advantage. Uses Sony to convert into the Meteorless Fan, but drops the Ender though. Or drops I don't know if that was the Ender, but dropped it like later in the combo, anyways. Pressure at the mid. Yo, you see Sento catching up? That's so cheap. That's so cheap. Sento just catching up on him. That's so good. What the heck? Ooh, goes for the delayed mid to catch Dragon, but Dragon doesn't get opened up. Nice opening from Dragon into the launcher. Ooh, big opening with the jab. Into Sento. Drops the combo, though. Sonic with the drop, a rare drop. I say a rare drop. We do see Sonic drop quite a bit, though. But I feel like it's because with Sento, there's like so many ways to combo and stuff. And it gets a little complicated. So, you know, it's hard to blame him, especially with no practice mode. So I feel like people won't get really clean with Kenshi like combos until practice until we have practice. Oh, nice sweep. They both got really long sweeps. Oh, did you y'all see that dragon actually floss blocked the uh the frost move in the middle of it to negate some chip. That was really high level. Dragon wasn't able to do it there, though. And then the push is going to get it. Wait, so what are we calling those moves then? Because the shoulder, the shoulder push we've always called push, but that's a push too. So is it just like a burst? Is it push and burst or shoulder and push or I'm not sure what any of those strings are on block. <laughs> this Sonic was doing right there. Ooh, nice little delay into the 422 to open it up. Into the combo. Into the pressure. Into Sento, into the grab. Sento's waking back up. Sento's waking back up. You don't want him to wake up. Ooh, nice dragon uh, kick into the square wave. Ooh, opens him up at the mid. Ooh, yeah, see, that moves like projectile invulnerable. That little dash Kenshi does. But it is slow, though, so if you see him running at you with it, you can just hit him. Pressure with back two into the frost. That's smart, too, because you have to let go of block and... Uh, you have to duck and let go of block to make the frost punch walk with. But obviously, Sonic's been doing, like, a low slide off of that, just on block, even. So, like, no one's just going to sit there and let go of block, you know, when they see Frost coming. At least in that situation. Nice throws from Dragon, trying to get something going. Oh, the time. I'm done. The time. Yeah, the time was running out. Oh, nice sweeps back and forth. Ooh, nice anti-air from Sonic into the little convert. Yeah, it didn't look like Sonic could get much more than that off that. So that was good to adjust and go for like a smaller convert that would work. Ooh, nice. Gets opening with back two into the slide. Chipping away with the overhead slice and with the strings. Nice counter poke throw. Nice spacing from Sonic. Okay, Dragon getting the mid going. Into the Sonya plus projectile. I'm sure there's a big gap in that if they do something into the Sonya projectile. But if you mix it in, rarely it'll work, you know? Ooh, nice spacing by Dragon. Big opening. Into the launch, into the Sonya conversion. Chipping away, chipping away. Oh, 
Oh, nice punish from Dragon. Just pressed right away. That was a good read. Is this going to kill? No, drops the Ender. Nice tech on the throw, though, from Dragon. Holy crap. And then Sonic goes for a dash up throw, but Dragon wasn't there. It wasn't there to be thrown. Really close round. Really high level round right there. Oh, nice punish. Yeah. Like, Sonic does a lot of unsafe stuff off of back two. And we haven't seen players, like, make make Sonic pay, really. But Dragon did right there with uh, with the punish on the back two into push. Or back two into Rising Karma, my bad. Oh, nice duck on the high from Sonic, though. Trying to steal momentum back. Dragon gets a big opening breaker, though. These players, like, always have breaker, I feel like. Because they're all, oh, almost always, like, launching with cameo or, like, something else. Like, Dragon has, like, the meterless fan to launch and then Sonya to uh, continue. So they're, like, not really spending bar on uh, combos. And then they rarely armor. They rarely armor. Like, they're very conservative with when they armor. So they almost always have breaker. Ooh, nice trip guard from Dragon there. Uses Sonya to launch to side switch. 31% in all the corner carry in the world right there into another opening. Sonic had breaker though. Spins it. Nice out space from Sonic with 422. That was so good. Now what's the setup with Sento? Other side. Now is it gonna be overhead low? Is it gonna be chip? Low. That's a low, right? I can't tell. I I don't know Kinchi that well. That looked like a low though to me. Both be impatient. Dragon throwing some projectiles. Ooh, nice sweep into the jump in. Ooh, that that should be it. That should be it. Dragon found the opening. Yeah, that's gonna be that. Seeing Dragon do like these like air enders is making me excited to do like the air like uh. The air enders with gear us, like the slams and stuff. That's gonna be sick. Ooh, nice neutral jump from Sonic. It's opening with that big jump one. Kenshi's got a really good jump punch, y'all. Drop the combo though. So you can only back throw, right, when you have Sinto out? Because your cameo's uh your cameo is uh dormant. Oh, yeah, that's, that's going to be tough to win after that. Yeah, Gears looks like he has so many air options with all the enders and stuff and the strings. And Gears also just looks so handsome. Oh, nice spacing by Sonic. Sonic spacing is already so good, and then Kenshi has, like, no hurt box on his normals, so... Just, like, a rough combination to deal with. Nice opening with the delayed forward 2-2. Doesn't hit confirm, though. That was a rare miss hit confirm. Ooh, great spacing by Dragon there. Holy crap. Into the air ender. Jump over from Sonic gets anti-air, though, but not a big conversion by Dragon. And it actually ended up leading into a combo of Sonics. That was a really bad mistake there. Yeah, this is going to be tough. Sinto can basically chip you out from here. It's over, yeah. There's no way. Yeah, it's done. And what's crazy is, like, you could armor if you have bar, which Dragon didn't have bar. But then Sonic can just block while Sinto hits you. Like, Kenshi is just so good. Kenshi is so good in this game. Like, it's... It's actually insane how good he is. Ooh, they're getting that little intro. Katana said, come on. Trying to get that run back. That was really good right there. Dragon used sweep to get the uh, to get uh, the first hit. And unlike MK11, you get the first hit on this game. It actually gives you an extra bar. Right there, Dragon dropped the combo, though. It seems like it's kind of hard to... Uh, to convert off of Katana's armor with Sonya, but Dragon's trying it, though. Definitely looks possible, but... It looks a little tough. Ooh, nice convert by Dragon. That was so good. Off a jump kick. 
Drops the ender, though. Nice block on the low side. Okay. Ooh, nice spacing on the sweep. Flawless block on the sweep. Jesus. Dragon gets him with the reject, although. That was a good round by Dragon. Really good round. Seems like Dragon's like uh, combo game isn't there with Katana yet, but again, we didn't have practice mode, so. Can't really blame someone for not being like uh, too polished with their combos yet. Nice pressure by Sonic with the uh, with the disjointed uh, her boxes into the push. Ooh, the spacing there. That's so good. Not, dude, that's so cheap because Sonic baited armor right there. But since uh, since Sento's there, I mean, you're still plus while you're baiting armor with Kenshi. That's so crazy. You bait armor while you're plus. Like, what the heck? Ooh, Sonic gets hit by the EX fan. Dang, into a big combo, too. You gotta be careful pressing on that. Uh, Katana's EX fan, like, it exploding that late. It's a really interesting special. Because it hits so late, so, like, even if you do, like, an armor move, I feel like you might get hit, like, after your armor. Like, doing that. I don't know, though. I didn't really get to play against any katanas, really. I played against one, and they weren't really doing that on block, so I didn't really get to experiment or see, like, the full, like, uh, properties of that move. Dragon got the dub. Dragon got the dub. That was good. Okay, okay. How many matches do we got left in the video? A few more, okay. I like how they both like sweep back and forth to start the round trying to get that first hit. That's really smart. Big opening from Dragon. A lot of corner carry here. Gets the corner into the throw. Ooh. Sonic tried to duck a high there. It didn't quite work out though. The second hit was really quick. Ooh, Dragon goes for armor there, and Sonic stayed patient. That was really good. And that would have been great if uh, Dragon's armor connected there, because Dragon could have used Sonya to continue it into a corner combo, into, like, those fans. That would have been huge. So I don't blame Dragon for taking the risk there. That was a good risk. Nice throw. Oh, so even if you throw forward when you have Sinto out, you can still use your cameo. Okay. I didn't know that, actually. You just can't use your cameo moves when you have Sento out. Okay, Dragon, okay. Dragon with the sweep into the jump in, into the mids. Ooh, Sonic gets opening though with the dra jab string into the frost slide. Ooh, goes for the low. Nice block from Dragon though, into the low again though. And Sonic got it there. Sinto is so cheap, y'all. Ooh, nice duck from Dragon, though, into the convert. Drops it, though. Spacing by Dragon to another combo. Ooh, that was nice. Into the pressure. What's going to happen, y'all? One read from either. One read from either. We'll get it. Well, not true. They both have Breaker. They both have Breaker. I need to consider that. Yeah, Sonic can break that. Yeah. Next hit from Dragon's going to be it, though. Ooh. Nice. That was really good by Sonic. Sonic set up, like, a situation there with, like, all that chip and the overhead slice where Dragon couldn't break the next hit, right? Because Dragon didn't have enough life anymore. And nice spacing into the jab there. No Breaker from Dragon so far. Maybe Dragon knew the combo wouldn't be that big right there.
Dude, that sweep is getting a lot of mileage for Dragon. I've never seen someone use a sweep like that in an NRS game. Like, consistently. Ooh, nice spacing. Sonic's got Fatal now, though. I feel like we rarely see Sonic use Fatal. Ooh, right here we might, though. Yeah, this combo should have Fatal, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, it's like... Surely that will kill, too, I think. Ooh, going green for that YouTube monetization. I feel you, I feel you. Sometimes you gotta go green. Ooh, and it made Kenshi's, like, Sinto, like, all pink. That's kind of cool. All right, let's get it, let's get it. Is this the last match? I think it might be. Yeah, it probably is. Okay, last match, let's get it. This has been a great set. This set's been awesome. Nice back throw from Dragon. And Katana's got, like, another little setup move that you saw uh, Dragon do right there. It's like a command grab input. It's like command grab into four or something like that. And uh, I haven't seen any Katanas really using that like that. I think I think Foxy was using it on stream. I might have to check out some Foxy gameplay because I think Foxy was getting some stuff going with the setups. But I haven't seen other Katanas do it, really. Oh, nice wake-up buttons from Sonic there. Ooh, air fan. Okay. Yeah, Dragon's in full control right now. Got those fans. Got the sweep. Hard to make a comeback. Huge 40% combo from Sonic into the mix-up. Ooh, dropped it, though. But this is going to be another mix right here. Ooh, nice duck on the throw from Dragon. That was such a hard situation to escape, and Dragon escaped it. Wake up buttons again from Sonic. Holy crap. Yeah, Dragon's meaties, like, aren't the, the greatest right now. And also, Katana's buttons are kind of slow. So I feel like Sonic's recognizing that and just doing wake up buttons like crazy now. Ooh, nice, nice. Closes out the round. forward throw with the Sonya. And Sonic actually got an opening again with Wake Up Buns there, but Dragon broke it, okay. But that's all Dragon's meter gone, though. Actually, neither of them have meter now. That's crazy. I feel like that's rare to see. Ooh, nice. Gets the opening. What's the combo looking like? Ooh, that looked unsafe right there. Just string into projectile like that. But Sonic not able to get the punish. Ooh, maybe it's not unsafe, because Dragon's just doing it. It's definitely minus, though. Yeah, this is a tough situation to be in. And Sonic has uh, Fatal, too. Yeah, this is gonna. This is death. Yeah, that's death. Wow. And that's going to close out the set, I believe. Yeah. That was an amazing set. Holy crap. Sonic and Dragon both looking super strong so far. I wonder if they will... Um, play these characters that release it all probably not huh because like there's gonna be so many characters like why stick with like a beta character type of deal um so i doubt they're gonna be playing these characters at release but it was really fun to watch dragon's katana really fun to watch uh sonic's kenshi as always that's gonna be it for my video like and subscribe uh later y'all much love